In 1999, Matt Campbell transferred from Division I Pittsburgh to Division III Mount Union. And what he learned there set him on a course that ultimately led him and the Cyclones to a historic championship game this Saturday. When Matt got here as a player, we were already good. They weren't good, they were amazing. Mount Union and Alliance Ohio had just seen its 54 game winning streak snapped when Campbell joined. The legendary coach, Larry Karras. There can't be uh, days off bad practices, bad workouts. You just have to guard against any complacency slipping in. Campbell soaked it all in. He joined that sort of environment as a player. And thrived. The coaching staff there, the people there, you know, obviously some of the teammates there, it was about relationship and trust and culture. I could see that he had outstanding leadership skills. He was Always thinking. Karras had a scoring system that rewarded a player five points for a sack. Except one game, he told his guys not to try to get the sack. But Campbell, the ultra competitive D lineman, wanted his points. So he went to you at halftime and said, basically, what, coach? I don't care. I'm going after him, or what? Hey, coach, come on. Let's 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 re let's reassess this. <laughs> Uh, I prevailed at, at that halftime discussion, though. He was always thinking about what might help our football team, and he's even willing to share his thoughts with his head coach at halftime if he thought it was pertinent. When you play defensive end, you know, and sometimes I, I have to reiterate this message to some of our guys, you do what's best for the team. And uh, I think that was probably the teachable moment for a young Matt Campbell at the time. Campbell helped lead his team to undefeated championship seasons in 2000, 2001, and again in 2002. He was part of the 55 game winning streak, still the longest in college football history. After going to coach at Bowling Green, he came back to Mount Union in 05 and 06. Karras had been calling the plays for 20 years, but was so impressed with Campbell, he made the new assistant offensive coordinator. He really grew through the course of his two seasons with me by having that responsibility. It was great for him. In his two years as an assistant, two more national titles. In his five years as a player and coach at Mount Union, five championships and a record of, get this, 71 and one. Had I not had that experience and probably at that point in time in my life, you know, would not have had the opportunity to become probably a football coach and certainly have a great foundation to reflect on. I think it saved my life in a lot of ways and it had certainly a profound impact on the direction of my life going forward after college. Campbell has now coached the Cyclones. We all cheer for him. To their first Big 12 championship game. He understands the entire relationship between the component parts of championship football. Now this is cool. Campbell's current offensive coordinator, Tom Manning, also played at Mount Union. And Oklahoma defensive coordinator, Alex Grinch, was Campbell's teammate at Mount Union for two of the championships. So the connections run deep. Kickoff Saturday, 11 a.m. in Arlington.